the men already getting ready for that final which starts in about uh, three minutes but meanwhile on the warm track Sally Gunnell preparing to defend her title the race will be at 9.15 British time now the men's event Stuart Story an outstanding uh, competitor is Samuel Bertati. This is Gary Cadogan of England. He runs in the fifth lane, two outside Bertati, the former world champion, who is the favourite, certainly. But Cadogan won his semi-final in 50.18 from the Harringay Club. There's the full uh, draw. Peter Crampton of England drawn in one, Ian Weekly of Jamaica in two, then Samuel Matati of Zambia in three, uh, Kinyo of Kenya in four, Kadogan of England in five, Ewart of Kenya in six, Harden of Zimbabwe in seven, and Robinson of Australia in eight. Crampton there, the Spenborough Club, has got a very tight inside lane, three A's champion, inside Weekly, he's got a best of 49.73. Just inside 51 in qualification, Matati won his semi-final in commanding fashion in 49.13 qualified in the Olympic Games for running over someone else's hurdle, incidentally, in the final stages. Kinyor, the Kenyan, 50 seconds, 50.08 in the semi-final, looked very, very strong. The Kenyan's now building up a real tradition in 400-meter hurdling. Kadogan, 49.07, he ran that in Oslo, was eighth in the European final, had a very tight inside lane, the lane that Peter Crampton's got this time. B. Watt, another Kenyan, Kenyan army. Another 50-second qualification. He's uh, a sub-49 man, 48-91, from Zimbabwe. Uh, Kenneth Hamden. He's at college in America. Best of 49-89. And Ron Robinson, the Australian. And the outside lane. He enjoys the outside lane. He won the World Junior title in 1990. Slow to progress there, and uh, very close to the Australian record. But uh, this fella... The outstanding favourite, number two in the world on time. Only Derek Adkins of the United States has beaten him this season. 47.90 is best time this year. And uh, holds the Commonwealth record at 47.10. Silver medalist in the Stuttgart last year. Won the title in Tokyo in 1991. The Kenyans have uh, really got a tradition over the seasons. Keita, Ochako, Yedo, Kimeyo. Maritim, Kosky, all under 49-4. So the final of the men's 400-meter hurdles. Crampton of England on the inside. Weekly in two. Matati in three. Kinyor in four. Kadogan in five. Bewatt in six. Hamden in seven. Robinson in lane eight. So. start as you hear the recall gun not entirely obvious who that was and the marksman will eventually get his instructions if it was a false start there have been one or two faulty starts in these uh, championships where no one has been penalized Matati got away very strongly and uh, may well have been Matati we'll have to wait and see uh, was, yes it was Matati and he certainly got well off round the bend and uh, the former world champion the silver medalist from the world championships last season gets the red flag he was fifth incident in the Commonwealth Games four years ago but since then has really developed there's the evidence Crampton of England in one, Wheatley of Jamaica in two, Matati of Zambia in three, Kinyor of Kenya in four, Kadogan of England in five, B. Watt of Kenya On in your six, Hamden of Zimbabwe in seven, Robinson of Australia in eight. The final of the men's 400 meters. There's a little clinch there from uh, Kinyor, but he didn't break. And Robinson gone off very quickly, and uh, so has Cadogan. Cadogan uh, has made the 
a stagger up on uh, a B Watt outside him. Matete looks steady, and Cadogan and Matete level as they approach the 200 meter mark. And on the outside two lanes, Robinson and Hamden of Zimbabwe going well. Crampton finding it difficult with a tight inside lane. Matete now looks to be in control. He's about two meters ahead now. And Cadogan, this is where Cadogan must work. The Australian Robinson running a good uh, race from the outside. Cadogan in the silver medal position at the moment. How much strength has he got down the straight? He's having a good run, and Matete and the two Kenyans coming through at the moment on Cadogan, and he didn't have a good uh, hurdle. Matete comes through, and B. Watt gets silver, I think, from uh, Kinyor, and Cadogan in fourth, but it looked as though he was going to make it. 48.67, the time for Matete, and that takes uh, the new game's record figures. 48.83, Alan Pascoe's record, set in 1974, that's gone. Gary Duggan. well, I asked the question coming off the bend into the straight, did he have the strength? And the answer was there for you to see. The two Kenyans ran him down. Peter Crampton was always in difficulty from the inside lane. It's so hard in 400 meter hurdles, uh, working from lane one. He had eight, lane eight in the European Championship, so it's a matter of uh, getting himself into a good position in the qualifying rounds to get those inside four lanes. Duggan's time, incidentally, 49.71. A dominant piece of uh, running from Matete. He was always in control, but Duggan, well, he committed himself, and you can see him in the center of that uh, echelon there, already up on uh, B. Watt, and he put a lot of pressure on B. Watt, the Kenyan, but uh, he's a sub-49 man, and uh, clearly a fast finisher. But Matete in the third lane, running very tight to the inside of his lane, has developed as a hurdler over the years. Remember, I said he was uh, seventh in the Commonwealth final four years ago. A Cadogan here clearly in second place. A silver medal looking on, and then he comes up that hurdle with momentum, but watch uh, Kinyor on the inside and B. Watt on the outside. Matete clearly there. B. Watt getting the silver, and Kinyor, the bronze, and Cadogan's time, as I said, 49.71. Crampton, uh, 50.37 in seventh. I never really got into the race. Samuel Matete was always the favorite. And uh, when you should see the position that Gary Cadogan got himself into in the, at the start of the home straight, well, there's clearly some more to come, some more work to do. Technically, he's better, but this fella, far too strong for the rest of the field. The 1991 world champion, the silver medalist from Stuttgart last year, took that by a big, big margin. To Duggan, he ran a fast first 200 meters. His 300 meters was good. He looked to be in control. His stride pattern looked good. He was very high over that hurdle, had to work very hard. It must have taken a lot out of him there. And this is where he starts to stress. He feels the two Kenyans there. An anxious look on his face. It was too high off the hurdle and lost momentum. It's about getting off the hurdle. It's about the technique coming off that stride pattern, getting into your running. And it was all over by this time. The two Kenyans, uh, B. Watt and Kinyo, had come past him. He was four. There's the evidence of the new game's record for Samuel Matete, 48.67. Uh, B. Watt. Kenya 49.43, the silver medal, and Kinyo of Kenya 49.50 in the bronze medal position. Gary Duggan 49.71, as I said, and Peter Crampton in 750.37, just to emphasize that situation.